So before I get into what I've been up to and where I'm at right now, I will kind of give you a brief update on the past year. I got in the military in February and then I started working in Hollywood like right away. I was working on commercials with the same production company that did the Navy's commercial. That's how we met and then they offered me a job so I started working with them. And then I found out I didn't get into grad school again so that means six tries that I didn't get in. And then my dog died. And then my wife left. And then my life was like a country music song. So I kind of, I don't want to say I went nuts, but I kind of just said screw everything, you know, and I went on the road. And for the next five months, I spent all the money that I uh, made in Hollywood camping and hotels and Airbnbs in 10 states. Uh, went to all the national parks and just traveled, traveled our country for a while. And uh, it was the adventure of a lifetime. Through all that time in, in uh, camping, hotels, just all over the place, I kind of found my voice. It wasn't so much filmmaking and trying to be a director anymore, but it was uh, going back to my roots, which is writing. So I wrote a screenplay while I was out there too. And then uh, on my way back to Hollywood, I was filming and photography, uh, doing photography at Mavericks, and I got a call. Uh, I got a call by this company that said go out to Middle East and do some stuff there. And the money was really good and then I was looking at going back to Hollywood and I was kind of dreading that. So I took the gig in Afghanistan. I'm, I'm in Afghanistan right now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. So there's all kinds of dogs in Afghanistan. They run straight. It's kind of like uh, if you go to Mexico or whatever, you see stray dogs everywhere. But they're beautiful dogs. A lot of them are just like these old Russian dogs or whatever, and they're, I don't know if they're mutts or what breeds they are, but, but there's a lot of dogs around, and they sneak into the base and they hang out around our compound. Well, um, we, we saw some, some folks beating on these dogs, and we saw them throwing rocks at these dogs, and they'll kill the dogs. And not only that, if they sneak in onto the base, the military that's here will shoot them, or uh, they'll scoop them up and euthanize them. Those dogs are the little piece of positive that we have here that kind of make us feel like we have a mission and we're doing something other than uh, collecting a paycheck. So um, a bunch of the guys thought it would be a good idea to start adopting these dogs. Now, adopting a, an Afghani dog is a lot harder than it would sound. You don't just put them on a jet and fly them away. It, 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 it's a whole lot of pain in the butt. First of all, it's a lot of money. And then we have to get them quarantined at a safe facility here uh, for three months. And then we have to pay for the flight to get that dog back to where it's going across, across the ocean. So it becomes a real tricky thing. And I want to tell stories about this uh, in the next uh, few videos. I just This is an introduction video. Nobody's seen me for a long time, so um, yeah, I want to tell the stories about the dogs, and uh, if you have anything you want me to talk about, I, I have time now. My screenplay is done with. I have time to go in detail on uh, anything you want me to, and I, I'm, I've made it a point to respond to everybody's comments uh, from now on out. Um, you know, if you have watch my videos just want to thank you and thanks for hanging out with me and i'll tell you the story about this crazy country called afghanistan so thanks for watching <laughs>